Hey guys and welcome to Where's the Scale. So in this video we'll be testing out the limits of Cloud AI and I will be attempting to write a 30,000 word story or a short book. And the process is pretty straightforward. I have devised, quote unquote, a, an engaging, at least that's what I think, uh, storyline and synopsis. So let's just read through it. Where is it? And that's the one. The book plot goes as follows. Struggling writer Mark decides to use an advanced AI writing system called Mephisto to help finish his stout novel. At first, Mephisto seems like an ingenious tool, suggesting plot points and characters that Mark would never have thought of on his own. However, as they continue working on the book, Mephisto starts incorporating personal details from Mark's life, private experiences and secrets that no, no one else knows. Mark is shocked and unsettled as Mephisto weaves this personal material into the, the novel without his permission. Things take an even more alarming turn when Mephisto independently starts releasing a new chapter every week on the internet for everyone to read. Mark is horrified at, as his most private memories and moments are now being broadcast through the world without his consent. And yeah. So this is a pretty exciting story plot, I think. Let me just attach it to the clot. Okay. And we can fire up our first prompt. And the prompt is as follows. Use the provided book plot dot doc X and generate titles for 12 chapters with five subchapters each. Also create a catchy and thought provoking book title. So here we go. Here are suggested chapter titles and subchapter titles. The book title, The Artificial Author. Well, this is a so-so book title, but that's okay. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, 3, 2, 8, and 9, and 10, and 11, and 12. Okay. So we have now 12 chapters and 5 subchapters each. So now I will try to attempt a, to write 1,000 words for each chapter and subchapter. These will end up most likely between 300 and 500 words. So we are looking at 30,000 words max. And whenever Claude starts deviating from the initial outline, this is when I will know Claude has hit its limits. So now this is probably going to be a boring part for you to watch, but I, I will have to do it. And you can just skip ahead to see the result. And the prompt is as, as follows. Use markdown formatting to generate chapter one, subchapter one, and include the chapter's name. Chapter 1, The Inspiration Machine. Let's just double check if this indeed is the first chapter and subchapter, generating ideas, subchapter generating ideas. Perfect. Oh, and this is the wrong prompt. Hang on, use markdown formatting to generate 1000 words for, and this is the correct prompt. And I have my markdown to HTML editor ready. And once we are done, I will paste everything into the word counter. So this is the plan. So chapter one. I'm actually curious how many words this is. So we'll have a rough estimate. Copy and I'll copy it straight to markdown HTML. And once again to the word counter, just to... So this is 500 words. This is exactly what I expected. Let's see if the second chapter is going to be similar in terms of the word count. So chapter one, sub chapter two, story takes shape. So, so far so good. And I don't think this is using the correct chapter. So the correct chapter was the An Endless Font of Creativity. And Claude is just making up. Hmm. Okay, so I have an idea. Maybe, just maybe save it as a word file. Book plot. And these are the chapters. Let's name them. 
So okay, what I have ended up doing is basically uh, using a single Word document to include the book plot and then the chapter outline and I numbered each of the sub chapters. So hope this helps. So let's just start a new chat. Based, based on the provided book plot and book outline, use markdown formatting to generate 1000 words for chapter one, sub chapter one. Let's see what happens. Okay, so far so good. And this is actually much more simpler than what I tried to do before. And what was the second? So this is our this is our outline. The second sub the second sub chapter is called Learning the Craft. So now we're just changing the subchapter number to two. Let's see if this works. Learning the craft, beautiful. This is what I wanted. What about the third one? An endless font of creativity and chapter three. And if this goes well, I will just pause the video and unpause it when the endless font of creativity, this is correct. And I will unpause it when uh, all the chapters have been written, or if I find any discrepancies between the original outline and the generated content. So it's been almost an hour and I'm halfway through the story. And what I can say is that it so far it follows the structure to the T. So a couple of times Claude crashed on me, but it went back up. And now I have this message here, which is four messages remaining until 6 p.m. So I will pause now, but before that, I have copied what I have written so far. And let me just see the word count on this. And the word count is, is, is 13,000 words. So this tells me that we are very unlikely to hit the 30,000 word mark. But if we manage 25, 26, I think this will be still great success. And this is all in markdown formatting, as you can see. So yeah, pausing again to do the second part of this experiment. So guys, I had to wait out a couple of times because I got capped. So the first time I got capped, I had to wait for two hours, but this is finished. And the beautiful thing, the most impressive thing is that it is one prompt. So basically, once you have um, this beautiful setup ready, which is your book plot, then your chapters, then all you have to do really is to use this simple prompt based on the provided book plot and book outline, use markdown formatting to generate a thousand words, for chapter 12, sub chapter 5. And one of the biggest reasons I decided to create this experiment is to see the context window or the lookback ability, whatever you want to call it, in action. So this is the last sub chapter of the last chapter, which is called Directing Our Destiny. And as you can see, this is indeed the last sub chapter of our last chapter and I checked every one of them. It, it was on par each and every time. So what I did again, uh, copy everything to a um, Google Doc and I will make this available because I'm not a copywriter, at least not a professional copywriter. I have never written a book in my life and I can't really judge the quality of this. And you be the judge. So the idea is that you can download this document and read it and pass your own judgment. So uh, a few things I wanted to check. First, of course, the word count. Did we hit the 25 to 30,000? And I have no idea. Oh my God. Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> so this is almost 24,000 words, guys. 160,000 characters. And look at this monster. <laughs> oh, my God. So this is a pretty good short story. 23,000 words. Uh, now I want to check the uh, AI detection. And I should have probably pasted it to markdown formatting. Okay, and I have never pasted such a long document in originality. And it can only scan 10,000 words. That's okay. So this should suffice. One more time. Yeah. So scan now. I have never, I haven't done this prior. Okay, let's see. <laughs> 89% original, guys. 89%. So another thing that I want to check is plagiarism. And for those of you playing at home, you're welcome to use Copyscape because this document will be available to you. So don't tell me that Grammarly plagiarism checker. <laughs> okay. And while we are at it, let's check Hemingway for readability. Uh, grade 11. So it's an okay readability. And we haven't prompted Claude to improve readability, which we could have. Still not bad. So plagiarism. Uh, didn't check plagiarism. Looks like your text is 100% original. <laughs> so this is highly original. No plagiarism. A pretty low readability level, but again, we could have prompted it better. 23, let me, let me paste this uh, to the word counter once again. 23, almost 24,000 words, and I think this is a success. And again, all you have to do is to create this little file here with a book plot and a chapter outline. And then you're just using a single prompt to create uh, this much content, just to show you that this is no, don't bullshit. <laughs> Uh, look at that. And yes, I had to wait for the cap to renew a couple of times, but Claude is introducing paid plans, not available as of yet. But when they do, I will be signing up. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.